Listen to this. Whoever gives food to the fasting person, the Prophet is speaking, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whoever feeds the fasting person, whoever is fasting and you fed him, you feed him, you gave him something to break his fast, you gave him something to eat before the break of the dawn. Man fattara sa'ima kana lahu mithlu ajri. Hold the second hadith for me. We don't know because Allah said he will reward for the fasting. And here, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying, whoever feeds the fasting person, he will get the same reward like the fasting person. You hold that? At the same time, nothing is diminishing from the one who fasted. The person that you fed, you will get the same reward of fasting that he is getting and nothing is going to diminish from his reward now go back to the second hadith brother since we don't know allah said he is the one who is going to reward for the fasting and you are able to feed 10 people 20 people breaking their fast you gave them food to eat you fed 30 people. You fed 50 people. Brother, brother, what do you think your reward will be? I can see the smile in your face. Do it. Feed them. Feed them. Brother. Illa saw fa inna hu li wa ana ajizidi. Kullu amal ibn Adam ala. All the deeds of the son of Adam is his except fasting. That is only for me, and I will reward for it. And if you feed a fasting person, you will get the same reward that he's getting. And nothing will diminish from his reward. So my challenge to you all is, my brother, you are listening to me. Allah has provided for you. How many people are you going to feed this Ramadan? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك وما كان معه من إله المستحق لجميع أنواع العبادة ولذا قضى ألا نعبد إلا إياه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له في أرضه وسمائه وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله القائل أنا سيد ولد آدم ولا فخرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الأتقياء البررة وعلى من هذا هذوهم وسلك سبيلهم إلى يوم الدين وبعد My dear brother لا إله إلا الله With this word Leave your life By لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله Whatever comes to you Defend yourself With لا إله إلا الله La ilaha illallah Whatever thing worried Or whatever thing is bothering you And you are thinking may Giving you sleepless nights Drive it away With la ilaha illallah Whatever situation you find yourself in Brother and my dear sister Believe me The key and the happiness Is La ilaha illallah It is the only way out Because there is no God except him None deserve to be worshipped except him He is one and the only one And in every situation you find yourself Say La ilaha illallah He is one and only I bear witness And I bear witness Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Brother after saying la ilaha illallah the completion of it to seal the deal is 
by saying Muhammadun Rasulullah by doing whatever you're doing according to the teachings and the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with this your la ilaha illallah will be complete because la ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah wa dhamma al-ilahu isma al-nabiyyi ila ismihi idha qala fil khamsi al-mu'adhinu ashhadu wa shakka lahu min ismihi liyujillahu fadhu al-arshi mahmudun wa hadha Muhammadun Allahumma salli wa sallam Brothers and sisters in faith, we are waiting for Ramadan. And Allahumma lak alhamd. Allahumma balikna Ramadan. While waiting for Ramadan, brothers and sisters in faith, there is something that some of us are leaving behind. You and I today, as we are sitting today, we have a two days or three days to Ramadan. We have prepared ourselves for Ramadan. Maybe you and your wife have done your shopping already. You are ready. You are just waiting for Ramadan to come and for you to start. But do you know they are fasting too? Do you know they are fasting too? Who? I know that will be your question. Brother, the poor man, the needy, that often will fast too. When it comes to you, when it comes to your breaking fast, when it comes to your iftar, when it comes to your suhoor, as sahur, you have no problem. You have it. You eat and you throw it in the garbage, something that remains in the garbage. You eat and you don't want some. You have choices. You have more than enough. Allah has given you more than enough. You have different foods. You look, I don't want this. You touch this little bit, you throw it away. You sip a juice, the rest is going to garbage. Do you know some people don't even have cold water to quench their thirst when it's time to break the fast? Do you know some people don't have food to eat when it's time to break the fast? He did not brave the steep path. What will make you realize what is al aqaba The obstacle. The steep path. The uphill road. Freeing the slave. Freeing the captive. Or feeding in a day of hunger. Who do we feed? Ya Allah. Yatiman. A relative often. Or oh, the needy person in distress. Feeding him. While doing that, you doing that with Iman, with sincere belief in Allah, seeking the reward from Allah. And they exhort each other with patience, and they exhort one another with compassion. Listen to Allah. Listen to this description. Allah described those people as the companions of the right hand. Who? Those who feed. Allah described them as the companions of the right hand. They are the righteous. They are the pious. They are the people of the right hand side. 
Brothers and sisters, the people of the right hand side, do you know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared for them? Those people who are feeding, those who are helping the needy and the poor, those who are preparing the needy and the poor for Ramadan to have something for iftar and have something to eat before the break of the dawn, before the fajr. Brothers and sisters, let's run to Surah Al-Waqi'ah and listen to Allah. وَأَصْحَابُ الْيَمِينِ مَا أَصْحَابُ الْيَمِينِ And the companions of the right. Who are the companions of the right? What did Allah prepare for them? فِي سِدِرٍ مَخْضُودٍ Ya Allah. They are in a thornless lot. فِي سِدِرٍ مَخْضُودٍ وَطَلْحٍ مَنْضُودٍ Ya Allah. And clusters of banana fruits piled one above the other. وَطَلْحٍ مَنْضُودٍ وَظُلٍ مَمْدُودٍ وَظُلٍ مَمْدُودٍ For you, the day that the sun will be a mile away from people's head because you feed those people, because you are feeding the needy and the poor and the orphan. وَظُلٍ مَمْدُودٍ An extended shade. And flowing water for you. And outpouring water. Where? In Jannah. And subhanAllah. And abundant fruits. And plenty of fruits. In this dunya. There are seasons for, for banana. There are seasons for mango. Some season comes, you look and search for mango, you can't find. Because the fruits have seasons. But in Jannah. In Jannah, those fruits that Allah prepared for you for Jannah, Allah said, they never cease. They're always there for you. They are not far from you. And whenever you look for it, you get it. Yeah, Allah. And he prepared for you furushim marfu'a, exalted thrones. Brother, may Allah take us to Jannah. Please say Amen. Exalted birds, beds, or you say exalted mattresses prepared for you. Why? Because you are feeding or you fed those who need. Brothers and sisters. <sighs> Brother, I think I should give homework today for you just to go and open Surah Al-Waqi'ah and see the meaning of these beautiful verses. Something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared for you. فَجَعَلْنَاهُنَّ إِنْ شَاءَ We made them special, unique women for you. فَجَعَلْنَاهُنَّ أَبْكَارًا إِنَّا أَنْشَأْنَاهُنَّ إِنْشَاءً We made them special women for you. فَجَعَلْنَاهُنَّ أَبْكَارًا And we made them virgins. عُرُبًا أَتْرَابًا Loving of equal age. Who are these for, Ya Allah? Listen to Allah. لِأَصْحَابِ الْيَمِينِ This is for the companions of the right hand. Ya Allah. 
Brothers and sisters, hey, this is the reward of someone who removed the fear of hunger from someone who is going to fast. From someone who is hungry and doesn't have what to eat. But you gave him that food. You provided him that food. You put that happiness in his heart. Whenever he is fasting and it's time to break fast, alhamdulillah, you have prepared something for him to break fast with. Whenever a person or whoever is hungry, he needs food, you gave him food. By doing so, Allah said, you are among the companions of the right. Only for you. All this goodness, Allah said he has prepared it for you because you are among the companions of the rights. So brother, feed them. Give them food to eat. And please, listen to Sayyiduna Rasulullah. I know you love him. Listen to him. And Abdullah ibn Amrin قال سأل رجل رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أي الإسلام خير عبد الله بن عم he said a man asked the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم أي الإسلام خير which quality of Islam is the best يا رسول الله listen to the answer listen to the answer from Sayyiduna Rasulullah Sallu Alayhi Allahumma Salli wa Salli Mubarak Alayhi He said Tut'imu ta'ama You feed the poor and the needy This is Ayyul Islami khayrun Which quality of Islam Which quality of Islam is best He said Tut'imu ta'ama You feed The poor and the needy The Prophet began with food Brother, Wallahi, many people are suffering of hunger. People, many don't have food to eat. But you have more than enough. Please, stretch your hand for the sake of Allah. Prepare them for Ramadan. They are hungry and they need your help. Please. The Prophet said, He began with food. He said, You feed. وَتَقْرَأُ السَّلَامَ عَلَى مَنْ عَرَفْتَ وَمَنْ لَمْ تَعْرِفْ And you will say salam to those whom you know and those who you do not know. But the first thing the Prophet began with was to feed. So brother, feed them. They are fasting too. They will fast. You know them. You know. And you know how to get to them. But one thing I want you to understand, you are doing it for yourself. You are feeding them, but it is your own self that you are feeding. Let me give you more hadith. This hadith is muttafaqun alayhi, agreed upon by Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim. Take another hadith. Hadith al-Qudsi. An Abi Hurairah radiyallahu anhu qal. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Huraira narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah said Listen to this hadith carefully please All the good deeds of the son of Adam is for him except fasting فَإِنَّهُ لِي As for the fasting, that's mine. Allah is saying, وَأَنَا أَجِزِي بِهِ And I'm the only one who will reward him for that. And I shall reward him for that. 
I shall reward the fasting person for that. Allah said, every good deed that you are doing is for you except for fasting. He said, that one is his. And he will reward for that. Now, brother, question. Can you imagine, just can you bring in your mind, how do you think this reward will be? And what do you think this reward will be? How big do you think this reward will be? I know your answer is Allahu A'lam. You don't know. Because Allah himself saying, fasting is mine and I'm the one who is going to reward for it. Now, now that you don't know the amount of the reward, let me ask you another question. And this hadith is not reported by Imam Bukhari. Another hadith. An Zayd ibn Khalid al Juhani, رضي الله عنه قال, on the authority of Zayd, the son of Khalid al Juhani, may Allah be pleased with him. قال, he said, listen to this hadith carefully. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه من فطر صائما من فطر صائما كان له مثل اجره غير انه لا ينقص من اجر الصائم شيئا لا اله الا الله listen to this whoever gives food to the fasting person the prophet is speaking sallallahu alaihi wasallam whoever feeds the fasting person whoever is fasting and you fed him you feed him you gave him something to break his fast you gave him something to eat before the break of the dawn man fattara sa'ima kana lahu mithlu ajri Hold the second hadith for me. We don't know because Allah said he will reward for the fasting. And here, the Prophet is saying, whoever feeds the fasting person, he will get the same reward like the fasting person. You hold that? At the same time, nothing is diminishing from the one who fasted. The person that you fed you will get the same reward of fasting that he is getting and nothing is going to diminish from his reward now go back to the second hadith brother since we don't know allah said he is the one who is going to reward for the fasting and you are able to feed 10 people 20 people breaking their fast you gave them food to eat you fed 30 people. You fed 50 people. Brother, brother, what do you think your reward will be? I can see the smile in your face. Do it. Feed them. Feed them. Brother. Illa saw fa inna hu li wa ana ajizi bi. Kullu amal ibn Adam ala. All the deeds of the son of Adam is his except fasting. That is only for me and I will reward for it. And if you feed a fasting person, you will get the same reward that he's getting. And nothing will diminish from his reward. So my challenge to you all is, my brother, you are listening to me. Allah has provided for you. How many people are you going to feed this Ramadan? After listening to this hadith, how many people, okay, now in 10, prepare yourself for it. Now that you heard this hadith, I am going to feed 10 people. I am going to feed 20 people. I'm Allah gave it to you, brother. He gave you. You have more than enough. You have it. And he knows he gave you. But if you hold it, he will hold it too. If you hold it and you become stingy, remember, 
والله الغني وأنتم الفقراء. Allah is al ghani Allah has it. Allah is self-sufficient. Allah doesn't need you, but you need Allah. So Allah is saying, Wallahu al-ghani wa antum al-fuqara. We are the poor ones. Allah is al-ghani. So feed. Man jahada fa inna ma yujahidu li nafsi. When you feed them, you are doing it to your own self, for your own self. They are hungry, brother. They need food. Feed them. Prepare them for Ramadan. And when you do so, you will be among the Al Abarar. Inna Al Abarar yashrabuna min kaisin kana mizajuha kafura. Aynay yashrabu biha ibadullah. Yufajiruna ha tafjira. Yufuna bin nazm. Wa yakhafu. They are free. Yawman kana sharruhu mustadhira. Feed them. And when you feed them, say, In wa yuta'imuna ta'ama ala hubbihi miskinan wa yatiman wa asira. And they are feeding. Ala hubbihi. Ala hubbihi. This domain, this pronoun, what is going for? They feed for the sake of Allah. They feed for the love of Allah. They feed for the love of the food. They love the food and the money they use to buy the food, but they are giving it to others to eat. No, no, no. They love to feed people. If you do so, Brothers and sisters, وَيُطَعِمُونَ الطَّعَامِ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا And they feed for the love of Allah. Miskina, the poor, the needy. وَيَتِيمًا and the orphan. وَأَسِيرًا and the captive. And they say to them, إِنَّمَا نُطَعِمُكُمْ لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ لَا نُرِيدُ مِنْكُمْ جَزَاءً وَلَا شُكُورًا We are just feeding you for the sake of Allah. We don't need any reward from you or any thanks. We want reward from who? Allah. Feed them, please, for the sake of Allah. Prepare them for Ramadan. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَاسْتَغْفِرُ الحمد لله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله. My brother, you heard the message. They are fasting too, so feed them. Please, don't forget them. Last year, maybe his father was alive. He was able to provide for them. But this year the father is gone. It's only the widow, the mother, and the child has nowhere to go. Make him happy. You know that brother who lost his job. He cannot feed his family. He is sick. Help him. Provide for them. And Allah will provide for you. Please, feed them. They are fasting too. May Allah give us long life to witness Ramadan. May Allah forgive us our sins. Ya Allah, we love you. We know you love us more. We thank you for giving us long life and health. We thank you for the Iman. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, make us witness Ramadan, Ya Allah. Brother, we're not there yet. So let's not to be too, don't, don't be too happy. Believe me. A minute, an hour to Ramadan, someone will go. A minute or an hour to Ramadan, someone will go. So always say, Allahumma balligna Ramadan. 
Just be hopeful. Make dua. May Allah continue to bless us all. May Allah protect us. Allahumma hadina wa hadi bina wa jalna sababa li man ihtada. Allahumma hadina wa hadi bina wa jalna sababa li man ihtada. Allahumma hadina wa hadi bina wa jalna sababa li man ihtada. Wala hawla wala kuwata illa billahi la li razim. Wala hawla wala kuwata illa billahi la li razim. Allahumma balikna ramadhan. Allahumma balikna ramadhan. Allahumma balikna ramadhan. Allahumma aizza l-islam wa al-muslimin. Allahumma ansur ikhwalna al-mustadafina fi kulli ma kan. برحمتك يا رحم الرحيمين يا رب العالمين اللهم يسر لنا أمورنا يغفر لنا ذنوبنا اللهم طهر قلوبنا اللهم انصرنا على عدائنا لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله لا لي العظيم اللهم اهدنا واهد بنا وجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم اغفر لأبائنا وأمهاتنا وأجدادنا وجداتنا برحمتك يا رحم يا رب العالمين اللهم ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا ذاب النار ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله لا لي العظيم وإذ تأذن ربكم لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم You said Amin last time We said our Imam traveled He went back home with your Amin Allah has brought him back safely So we say Alhamdulillah for accepting our dua May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless us Alhamdulillah he is back by your dua May Allah continue to bless you too and protect you Whatever you're looking for I pray May Allah grant you all your good wish Ya Allah May Allah protect you whatever you are afraid of Ya Allah May Allah bless us and our children and protect us, Ya Allah. May Allah make things easy, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, wherever there is no peace, Ya Allah, we pray that you take peace over there. Our brothers in Sudan, Ya Allah, we pray that you take peace to Sudan, inshallah. You take peace in Palestine, Ya Allah. Wherever there is no peace, Ya Allah, brothers and sisters are suffering, Ya Allah. Be with them and help them, Ya Allah. Help us all, Ya Allah. We need your help. We are du'afa. We are weak. We have no one but you, Ya Allah. You are our protector, Ya Allah. Protect us, Ya Allah. Wa sallam wa barikala abdika wa nabiyika Muhammadin wa alayhi wa sallam 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 wa al